Many years ago when I was a child, my godfather, at that time he was operating one of the largest wine production in Switzerland. And so they had this very fancy factory. He gave a lot of tours of people that were interested, similar how Microsoft offers tours to people on the campus, at least pre-COVID when, you know, things were different. And I remember when I was a child, the one machine that fascinated me the most was like these automated forklifts. They had two of them. They would go to one end of the factory, pick up pallets that are stacked with cardboards full of wine bottles, then bring them to the storage facility. And how that would work is the one that was loaded would come, use the elevator, go down one floor, and then the one that returned empty had a predetermined space to park so he could pass, then he would park the pallet. And then people operated forklifts, as you would know, they would take those pallets and stack them on top of each other, these really super tall towers. Now, sometimes when they would come by and we were on a tour, he would just grab me and sit me on top of the box and I would go with the robot back. I mean, how cool is that? And that's like, you know, in the 90s. So forget smartphones, forget anything. Like, well, even maybe we just launched Windows 95. Who knows? It's a long time ago. Now, imagine for a second, hypothetically, you're talking to a manufacturer and it is your job to help them understand how technology could help them modernize their factory floor. So you pitch them this idea of robotics and you would tell to my godfather, hey, imagine there would be these robots, they go left and right, you would have a dashboard, you would see all the data, you can learn, you can predict, you can simulate things. And my godfather would be listening to you and say, this sounds all pretty cool. The question is, can you demo it? What do you think? Can you? Now the good news is the Azure IoT team did an amazing companion app for your smartphone that you can use basically the sensors that are built into your smartphone. When you think of the robotics example, the robots back then in the 90s, they had this, you know, tape on the floor with magnets in it so the robot didn't leave the driveway, he knew exactly where to stay. So you could use the magnet meter from your phone to demo it. You could use the accelerator to show speed when he parked, when he turns, when he stops. You could use the gyroscope to show if the load has an angle or if it's balanced. You could show battery status and exact location based on the GPS tag or other location. And to demo that, you could literally do it in that one meeting. You don't have to go home and talk to a bunch of experts. And that's what I want to walk you through very quickly today on how you can connect your smartphone to IoT Central for measure. It also works just with IoT Hub, but IoT Central has dashboards, has everything in it that you possibly could need to get started easy and quickly. It's basically a SaaS platform for IoT solutions. So our journey starts on the Azure portal. If you're not familiar with it, there is a way, I can link to it in the description to get to know Azure. If you don't have an Azure account, it's very easy to set up a free trial for everybody else, just log in. So you should see this view, just a normal dashboard after you logged in. We're then going to IoT Central Applications. You can say directly here, create. We need a name for it. I call it IPNP for iPhone plug and play. We see it's available. We're gonna create a new resource group. A resource group allows me to easily delete everything if I don't need it anymore after the demo. So I'm gonna name it the same thing so it's easy. Pricing, you can start with tier zero all the way to S2. There's obviously a difference in what you can do or cannot do. In my case, I just start with standard zero. And then you can select a template. A template, and that's part of IoT Central, really gets you easily started. So if you have a specific industry or use case, you could select here what you want. In my case, I will just click on custom application, and then I have to determine where I like to deploy it. And since I'm in Redmond, why not West US? I hit the create button, it runs a quick check. Now you see it submits a deployment to Azure. Azure asks the resource provider to set up those resources that I requested. And in just a little bit, I will get a notification that it should be up and running. Once the deployment is done, we can basically go to the resource. It will open the resource that we just created. And you see here is the IT central application for the user interface. So let's click on this one. 
it will now load IoT Central and the user interface of my custom application that I deployed. So if you were to use one of the other templates, this one could look slightly different. The dashboard prepared specifically for your use case, but it allows you to get started very easy and simple. So in my cases, I go straight to devices and I say I like to add a device. It asks me for a device name. I just take whatever he kind of like recommends. I could say he should simulate this device, but in my case, we're actually gonna connect an iPhone, so I don't need it simulated. And if you had, we could use a device template. I say create. Now it's created. We're gonna click on the device. Click on connect. Now it shows you the device connection, the information you would need. You can click on the QR code and it will show you a QR code. So now as a next step, we need to go to the app store and download the correct. Let me show you how that looks like. So here I am on my iPhone and you see there is this app called IoT PNP for plug and play. So I start the application. It asks me to scan the QR code. I will do that. Now it's connecting to Azure. Let's see. Now we're connected. We see he's still reading some of the information. You see my battery level is low, the geolocation, you have the magnetometer, the barometer, the accelerometer and the gyroscope as I talked about it. And now if I'm going back to the Azure portal, I close this view. Now you see the device would give me that because I initiated for the IoT plug and play app. When I click on overview, now you see basically the location where I'm at the dashboard and you see all the information from battery level, the altitude I'm at, you see acceleration, you see the rotation of the device, etc. You can even take it one step further and give command. You can set how often he should refresh. Um, the sensor data but you can also play around and give a command to the to let's say my phone so if I go say here for example run the lights on on my phone and I hit run here you will see that um, just with these few steps I was able to connect my phone to Azure for IoT Central use the predefined templates here that IoT Central has a few and actually send commands to my phone, but also read out all the sensor data. Here you see now the acceleration and all the data that it just sends to Azure. And it literally takes no time. And so actually to demo to my godfather how that might look like, to know the location, to know the status in a simple dashboard and how that would be easier specifically as he grows his business and has more robots. And then it can also apply predictive maintenance to figure out if a robot is gonna get a defect or anything is a super easy conversation to have. I hope you like this today, this session. It's brief, it's quick, but that's the goal of it. And I hope you test it out. Just download the IoT PNP app from the Microsoft Store. I will link it in the description. Just deploy IT Central custom application, scan the QR code, and that's it. You're up and running. Please leave in the comments what interesting use cases you come up with, or if you do your own video, please feel free to share it. And with that, D Dave Kurt out.